And welcome to Whippoorwill Holler. I'm Miss Lori, and this is Mr. Brown. We live in the hills of Arkansas. We love the Lord. Keepers of the old way, but accept some of the new. We love to cook, and we love to eat. We love to garden. It's in our blood. It's how we stay sustainable and fill our pantry. We do a lot of canning and preserving. We live a sustainable life. We love our family. We work hard. And every once in a while, we like to dance. So y'all join us. Easy and delicious. We're going to start out with two pounds of stew meat. And I'm going to make y'all just a little bit dizzy here. I'm going to get my, <laughs> I forgot to get my onion powder. But we're going to add some onion powder, probably about a teaspoon, and some teaspoon of black pepper, and salt, and uh, brown it up. And we got it good and brown. We're going to cut up and chop up one onion, about 10 ounces of mushrooms, and uh, we're going to saute them on the saute setting in your Instapot, just for a couple of minutes, not very long. And once you get them sauteed up, and once you get a steam facial there, we're going to pour in about a cup of beef broth. Just a good heaping cup of beef broth. And this is what's going to make your gravy for your beef tips. And we're going to put in a can of cream of mushroom soup. Now, when we get ready, we're going to put our our lid on our instant pot and uh, we're gonna make sure it's on seal and uh, we're gonna put it on manual and uh, we're gonna cook it for about 15 minutes and then we're gonna do a instant release on it but you just want to get your your beef broth and your cream mushroom soup in there and you just want to stir it up real good get it incorporated before you put your meat back in and like I said, I put salt and pepper and onion powder and a little bit of garlic powder on my meat when I browned it up. But I'm still gonna go ahead after I put my meat in here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put a good tablespoon of minced garlic in here because I love garlic. So we're gonna put our meat back in that we browned up and stir it up. And I can tell y'all, within 30 minutes, from beginning to end, about how long it's going to take to get your beef tips cooked and on the table. So we got our tablespoon of minced garlic in there, and I'm going to stir it up again. And we'll put our lid on, like I said, and put it on manual, high pressure, for 15 minutes. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. We're going to release the pressure. Then after the pressure's done, you gently lift your lid off and you got some beautiful beef tips. Now, you, it's not thick enough for me, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to thicken it up. I'm going to turn my Instant Pot on saute. And I've got two tablespoons of beef broth and a tablespoon of flour, or you can use cornstarch. And I'm going to put that in there and it's already starting to thicken up. And you see how it's thickening up already. It's a, it's a pretty golden color, too. That meat is so tender, too. So, now that it's done, we are going to plate up our beef tips. And you can serve this over rice, mashed potatoes, noodles, whatever your heart desires. It's good stuff. And it's quick. It's probably one of my favorite Instapot uh, meals. And I want to show y'all how I'm going to dish it up. When, I, when we have rice with some, I always put butter on my rice and uh, get that butter mixed up good with all my rice. Good buttery rice. At this point, if you want to season it with something, I like to just put a little bit of pepper on it because my butter's usually got salt in it already. So 
So let's put just a little bit of pepper on it. And I got me one of these <laughs> uh, electric pepper grinders and salt grinders. I'm telling you, they're the bomb. If you don't have one, you need to get one. Just takes uh, two A batteries. Now we're gonna put our beautiful beef tips over our rice. And I done tasted the meat and it is so tender. The gravy is so good. That beef broth and the cream of mushroom soup and the garlic, I mean, it's just delicious. So there you go. There's your easy, quick, instant pot beef tips. Y'all need to try it. Thanks for watching, everybody. This is a great recipe. Y'all have a good week. We love y'all. God bless everybody.